Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have something very cool to show you all the way from Japan. In this box, there is a pipe, and it was sent to me from Tobacco Pipes Japan. I reviewed a pipe for them quite a few years ago, but Chris from Tobacco Pipes Japan contacted me and said he wanted to send me another pipe. This one is made by the maker Nagata Minoru, and he is a very small batch maker. He doesn't do a lot of pipes, everything is handmade, and I just thought it would be really cool to do a box opening on camera, show you the pipe, the first glimpse I see of the pipe, you will see it as well. In the future, we'll do a full review of this pipe. I wanna live with it for a couple weeks, try it out, see how I like it. But for now, let's do the box opening. So here we go. A box from Tobacco Pipes Japan by pipe maker Minoru Nagata. Here I've got my Bark River. This is a mini gunny in Magna Cut. We're going to use this to somehow get into this box. Let's see. Oh, I don't think I even need the knife. Hold on. Sorry, Bark River Magna Cut knife. We have a thing here, a little strip. I'm gonna rip that open. And, well, maybe I still do. Or I'll just use my blunt, powerful fingers to open this box. So here we go. We're breaking in we have a little bit of packaging material and just some more packaging material. I will use my knife for this. Hiya. Ha hi. All right. Put the knife away. We can put the box to the side. I don't think there's any pertinent information on there. Most of it's in Japanese anyway. So here we go. Here is the pipe. Seems like it's just in a sleeve, not in a box. And it comes with a certificate, which is taped to the drawstring here. So there's the certificate. Name, two out of 63. <laughs> Length, 160. 24 grams. Bowl, height, 54. I'm assuming this is millimeters. Width, 31 millimeters. Chamber, uh, says D40. I guess depth is 40, 40 millimeters, and I can't see what that other little character is there, but it says 18. Material, briar. Uh, stem is acrylic. Ornament, it says wenge. I think that's kind of wood, isn't it? Wenge wood. And then date, 28th of January, 2022. And then there is a signature there. So that's cool. I like this little sock. It's like a little crocheted yarn pipe sock, which is very cozy. So a little bit of information about this that Chris sent me. He said, Mr. Nagata is known as a pipe maker's artisan. He doesn't use a lathe or any kind of heavy machinery. He mostly uses hand files, knives, and a Dremel to make his pipes. So not using a lathe on a pipe is kind of crazy. The process is more laborious, but it enables him to make interesting designs. No two Nagata pipes are alike. Since his pipes are handmade, his creations tend to be smaller in size and very lightweight, and they're also renowned for their smooth draw. So this pipe is called the Angel Heart, and let's open it up now. I think we'll use the smaller camera so you can see it nice and close. Here we go. Ooh, wow. Look at that. So briarwood, and then I think this is wedgewood here. We have a white acrylic stem. Oh wow, on this side, there is a little heart. And I think there was some information in the email I got from Chris. On the side of the shank is a small heart made from abalone shell. Oh, that's really cool. So it's actual abalone. Beautiful grain on the bowl of this pipe. And such a cool look to it. Beautiful, straight, delicate stem. The wedge wood here. And you have that kind of plateau top or the rusticated top. It's probably not even rusticated. It's, well, it might be. Sometimes that's just the natural surface of the briar wood. 
And then untreated bowl. Not sure how closely the GoPro can focus here. So I'm gonna be careful when I smoke my first few bowls in this. I don't wanna to go too crazy. Let's test the draw. It says that they're known for having a really nice draw. Sounds nice and open, feels nice and open. It looks like the draft hole is really nicely centered in there and it's really interestingly placed. Hopefully the camera will pick that up, but it's right in the center of the bowl almost. And because the bowl is at an angle like this, instead of it being right in the heel, like coming in you know, perpendicular to the heel of the bowl, it comes in almost exactly in the center of the bowl which is very fascinating. I'm going to grab some Dunhill Elizabethan and I'm going to load this pipe up and I'm gonna to try to take a few puffs on this. This thing is just beautiful though. Look at that thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Nagata Minoru-san. We'll be right back. All right, gang, so I've loaded this pipe up with a little bit of Peterson Elizabethan mixture. It's just a little over halfway full. I like this pipe too, because you can set it down. You don't need a stand or anything. It'll just sit right there. So let's get this going, and I'll tell you what I think of the draft on this pipe, um, just how it feels to smoke. All right. My Nagata pipe is lit. It is so light. And the bowl is not tiny, actually. It's actually a fairly decently sized bowl. And the draft is really, really nice and open. It reminds me kind of my Costello pipes. Hmm. I really like this thing. I really like the look of that. I think the grain is beautiful. It's just, just such a gorgeous construction. The attention to detail is amazing. And I am very pleased with this Nagata pipe. You can expect a full review forthcoming in the next few weeks, but until then, until next time, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley, you've been the audience, this has been Stuff and Things, opening up my Nagata pipe from Tobacco Pipes Japan. Thanks, Chris, for sending it along and I'll see you later.